Alright, I could use some buffing here real quick. And I'm probably gonna wish I switched to this earlier, but... Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. I just, I needed to concentrate. Whew. All right, so, to kind of recap, since I wasn't talking at all during that fight, start out with... Well, here, let me go ahead and show you. Tide Turner. That way, Sauce can get you some buffs. You can get some debuffs. Although, before you start debuffing, make sure you do a Libra to make sure you can find out his weaknesses just to help out. Whenever you need to, go ahead and swap to Symbiosis. That's a new one I just added, so that way Saz can keep buffing and you can keep healing so no one dies. And then I just went and switched up to Undermine to keep the debuffing going while Saz started attacking. And then as I needed to, I would switch to Slash and Burn to try and build the Stagger Gauge. Although after a while I noticed that if I stayed in Undermine, the Stagger Gauge built a hell of a lot faster and because I was doing Saboteur stuff, it actually stayed up there, so you might want to try that. Even if you've already got all the status effects you can affect on him already affected. That sentence was terribly redundant. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, stick with it, because you saw I was able to stagger him a lot faster that second time. Anyway. Moving right along. <laughs> Whew. Although I will admit... 
that fight much better than fighting those three mud frogs. Uh, more of them. Kinda wish I was paying attention how much CP those guys gave me. Oh well. There we go. Except I just realized I forgot to change my paradigm. Ah, uh, it's gonna waste some time. There we go. At least we're not doing too bad. These guys are at least a much easier strategy to work out. There we go. I know what I said about the timing last time we fought these guys, but I really just wanted to make sure we were down to two before they did something crazy like kill Saz or Vanille. Alright, finish him off. Thank you. There we go. And we should be doing pretty good on timing, and I would certainly hope health-wise, too. You know what? Just in case. I don't want to have to burn another... Phoenix down, so we'll give him just enough to survive the fight. Which is typically all you really need to do. Because he's good for at least another two hits. There we go. Potions are a lot cheaper, too. <sighs> More ooze. And there's the treasure sphere. Aqua Ring. Yes, uh, 25 or 30% immunity to water damage. Finally! Finally we get one. Ah, oh, crap. Did it again. Hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate. Thought I had one already. Oh well. Oh, I just noticed. These are not the ones we were fighting before. These are the leveled up versions that have Fira. Alright then. Alright, you finish them off, says I'll bring us back up to some decent amount of health. Alright, now let's kill them. Because they are still with the fire, so that's good. I gotta say, I'm not entirely sure what that... Huh. When did I in Thunder her weapon? That's weird. <laughs> I don't know when that happened. And let's just take a quick look. Yeah, there was really nothing this way. It was just if you wanted to avoid that particular fight. Although up here... I think I'd like to just go ahead, run back, and see what is there to fight instead. Which actually, now that I think about it, hit this one. If you go back down and hit the other one, the monsters are going to change and you might have to spawn into a new fight. I hope that's not the same case here, though. Well, that... That's exactly what I did not want happening. Hmm. 
Nope, can't really pull him either. Because that's a fight you don't want to get into. Not without some grinding and some other weapons. Though I think... Alright, okay. We can just barely sneak around him. Yeah, more of them, but again, very easy to get away from. Just walk around the edge, and you should be fine. And let's see, what's up here? And if we swap things... Much, much better. But first, <laughs> don't forget to change your paradigm for the third time. <laughs> there we go. Perfectly in sync. Oh, almost had him too. That guy's dagger went down a lot slower this time. Perfect. Eh, yeah, quit your slapping. Come on, man, you fight like a girl. Stop with the slapping. <laughs> ah. I'm starting to miss them saying things at the end of the fight, though. It just seems odd not to have them have their little catchphrase or their little bragging phrase right there. Alright, so we avoided these four guys earlier. Don't believe we're going to be able to do that anymore, so be prepared to be healing yourself in this fight. But open up with Afira just to see how many you can get staggered. And hope for the best. Yeah, I'd say focus on two at a time. There's enough of them that Fira should be pretty powerful. So just kind of focus on using that. No, kill him. Alright. That's enough slapping from you guys. I'm not kidding. 19 hit points, that's plenty of slapping from you guys. There we go. And back down to two. Of course, they're trying to kill Vanille and Vanille only. This is so much fun. You guys can't see it, but I'm glaring at them right now. Seriously, all four of them have only targeted Vanille. I think the only time Saz has been hit is when they did their, like, wide range attack and he just kind of got caught up in the middle. God. <sighs> oh my god, really. These guys are just really irritating. Good riddance, jeez. Fucking slap happy little Fleming bastards. Ugh. Aegisol, nice. Haven't had any of those pop up in a long time. But 
Protect Shell, Veil, and Vigilance. I will be using one of those at the beginning of that boss fight at the end of this chapter that I keep talking about. Yes, he's that scary. Uh, Gar Kermacera or something. I have no idea how to pronounce those names. Alright, now that we're actually in the proper paradigm, this should be a lot smoother of a fight. And I'm just going to keep throwing fear at him until I take out a couple of them. Just because it's so much more effective. At the moment, because you can also get a chance at... Attacking both of them. Alright, that's probably enough. Let's just focus down one of these guys. Before they really start hurting Vanille. Hmm. Yeah, flashing red. But there's still being two of them on the field. Okay. I feel better now. Continue killing. Really? They're weak to air, too? Huh. Okay. We should be okay, even if he does get another attack off. Jesus. God, cutting it close. <laughs> I was at least correct. <laughs> wow. Alright, I'm, I'm starting to get cocky here. I almost feel like I'm showing off just because I'm recording. Doing stupid things. <sighs> this smells fishy, and I'm gonna find it. That's your warning that the boss... It's right around the corner. Let's go ahead and take a look. Nope, not that one. Not... Yeah. You can't quite tell, but that's a very large arena-like area. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a little glimpse of what's to come. Looks relatively harmless. But unfortunately, we're going to have to find out just how dangerous that little boss fight is next time. I think I've recorded my bit of allotment for today. I've gone almost two hours now, and I'm still way behind in my editing, so I think for now I'm going to say goodbye to you all. I wanted to thank you all for watching. Hope you've been enjoying these episodes. This has been Nocturne, and I will see you guys again next time.